Today we're gonna compare an egg that we got from Costco with one of the eggs that one of our chickens laid. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. You can probably hear my daughter yelling in the background as I make this video because she's outside playing with our chickens. I have been meaning to do this video for a while and I have been like saving the last of one of the Costco eggs my mom gave me a little while ago. I did a float test the other day and it, it still is good. So if you don't know about the float test, if you are unsure if an egg is still good, you can put it in some water. And if it's at the bottom horizontal, it means it's like fresh, totally good. If it starts to tip up like this, that means that the little air bubble inside the egg is getting bigger and it's, it's getting older. And if the egg floats, you don't wanna crack that one open. It's gonna be really gross. So that just means, you know, there's tons of air in there. It's been, it's been out for a while. My eggs have been re retrieved within the last couple of days. So there's really no need to do a float test on them because they are super fresh. The ones you get at the store typically are a few weeks old because they had to be from the chicken and then they were processed and they were washed and that's why they're refrigerated. So anyways, this one's, it's, it's, it's seen its days and it needs to be eaten. So in this video, I'm just gonna be kind of describing just the differences that I observe and we're gonna cook them up with like no seasoning, no oil, like nothing to change the flavor. And I'm gonna see if I notice a difference. I don't know if I will, but I know I have asked my husband if he notices a difference between our chicken's eggs and the ones we get from the store or the ones we used to get from the store because we no longer need to. And he said he definitely noticed a difference. So we're gonna see if my palate will notice a difference. So from the dozen of our eggs that I've already like washed and cleaned and now refrigerate since I washed the bloom off, if you don't know about that, you might wanna check out what a bloom is on an egg. But I tried to pick out like one of our biggest eggs and one of our smallest eggs from the bunch. Um, you know, out of the 12, this one just is a little bit chubbier, I think, not necessarily longer. But size comparison with the store-bought egg, our, our smallest egg is still bigger. So we're getting pretty large eggs. I mean, I think the Costco eggs are large, so these are probably extra large. And I really like them because when you crack them, there's more like shell to hold on to. So I don't feel like I'm gonna like totally crush the egg. And our eggs come in a variety of browns. So I've actually arranged the little tray to be like ombre, <laughs> going from lightest to darkest. And I really don't know which eggs came from which hens, but I have a hypothesis that chocolate, our darker chicken, probably lays the darker shelled eggs and vanilla or caramel or cookies and cream kind of lay the lighter to medium blend brown eggs. Just a few facts because I know this is a motherhood channel and not like a homestead, like farming channel, but uh, from what I understand, our chickens, like with the color of the egg, just depends on the breed of the chicken. Before I had chickens and before I kind of dug deeper, I always thought like white chickens lay white eggs, brown chickens lay brown eggs, but I didn't even know like, okay, there's kind of bluish eggs or pinkish eggs. Like it just depends on the breed and they'll always lay that same color. It's not gonna be like, they go from brown one day to white the next. And whether they are brown or they are white, inside is all the same. And some people, you can hear my daughter, some people are like, how can you get eggs without a rooster? So the way I describe it, and sorry if this ruins it for any of you guys, but eggs are chicken periods. <laughs> So just like, you know, us females get rid of an egg every month about, the chicken cycle gets rid of an egg about every one or two days, depending on the weather and other conditions. And so if you don't have a rooster to fertilize the eggs so that the eggs will ha hatch into chicks, then you will just get unfertilized eggs, which is what we eat from the store. And so they're chicken periods. So sorry if that ruins eggs for any of you guys, but that's what it is. And in order to lay eggs, chickens need like their diet to be like a certain way. Like they need a certain amount of protein every day. They need a good amount of sunlight. In the winter, they don't lay as often. So I might actually dip my toe into canning eggs. I've, I've kind of looked it up a little bit and it seems really interesting. So I might do that for this upcoming winter uh, just so that we have, you know, eggs throughout the winter when they're not laying as much. And they haven't been laying as much and it's actually kind of picking up the pace. So I'm excited about that. 
But enough chit chat. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If I don't know the answer, I will try to look it up because I'm sure it'll be useful for me to learn. So let's go ahead and crack open one of our eggs and one of the and the one Costco egg that I still have and see if I can tell a difference in the taste. So something I've seen online is that like typically you would expect maybe your yolks from your eggs at home to be uh, darker in color than the store-bought, but these ones appear to be the same color. But I do, I have heard that kind of what the chickens eat will also determine the yolk. And so if our chickens ate like lots of marigolds, they might have a darker yolk. But in this case, we can kind of see that the yolks are kind of the same color. So this is our egg from our chickens and the egg from the store. So let's go ahead and cook these guys up. I prefer scrambled eggs, so sorry if you would rather me cook it a different way. Scrambled it is. All right, we got our nonstick pan and I'm actually gonna be cooking up the store-bought chicken egg first. And again, I'm not using any oil. I'm not doing salt or pepper. Like I literally just want to taste these eggs side by side with nothing to alter their just, you know, flavor alone. <laughs> and we're gonna see if I can see a difference. If you're wondering about our pans, they are Anilon. We got them at our wedding time and I really like them. I, I like how when I, when I make pancakes, I never have to use any cooking spray or anything and they come out perfect. So that's our pans. If you guys are curious, these are done. Now let's do our chicken egg. This one is from our backyard. So let's go ahead and see if I can tell a difference from a store-bought scrambled egg versus our homegrown scrambled egg. All right, got my home one, store-bought. So let's go ahead and try the store-bought one. Can I try it? Sure. Okay, tastes like an egg. Tastes like an egg. I'm gonna keep going back and forth until I really notice a difference. I wanna say there is some type of subtle flavor with the store one that seems different from our like home grown egg. But in my opinion, if you, I couldn't, maybe I could tell like, oh, this one was like from the store and it's old versus the farm fresh. But to me, I can't tell much of a difference. So if you're looking to like, you know, get chickens for yourself so you can have the freshest eggs and tell the flavor difference and you have a palate like mine, maybe that's not a good reason for you to get them. But, you know, she obviously loves them. She's choosing the, uh, our chicken egg versus the store one. So I'll go ahead and eat the store one. 
Okay, I'm all out. I don't plan on buying any more eggs from the store. So from now on, all of our eggs will be from our backyard chickens. Uh, I hope that, you know, maybe this video was enlightening for any of my viewers. I don't always just focus on my chickens. If you guys are new here, I take care of all motherhood things. I have a party prep that I, I need to start planning for. Um, it's gonna be coming up. I'm hosting my mom and my niece and my nephew's birthday party here. So I'm gonna be doing that. They wanted a very interesting theme. So we're just, we're gonna make it work. And I, you know, clean, I organize. So if you guys are new here, I'd love for you to check out all of my other content and subscribe and stick around. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up <laughs> and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. So fun fact, chickens will eat their eggshells. They'll eat their own eggs. They will eat themselves if, they, if you uh, serve them like they're long when you slaughter a chicken. So very interesting. So I just crumble these up and they will eat this and it's good for like calcium and stuff like that. So this one right here is chocolate. Then we got vanilla cookies and cream and caramel. I think chocolate is the one that lays like the darker eggs and vanilla right there with like the whiter bottom belly. I think she probably lays the, the lighter colored eggs. Cookies and cream and caramel probably may lay like the middle of the brown spectrum colored eggs. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.